What's up, you guys? I hope you guys are having a good Thursday. There is a lot that needs to be talked about. If you guys know Aaron Hernandez, he used to play for the New England Patriots. He played tight end. Uh, in 2010, he actually got drafted in the fourth round by, uh, by the Patriots in the NFL draft. Now, he was actually the youngest player on the NFL roster at the age of 20 to be playing in 2010. Now, we're going to go forward about three years ahead. And on June 17, 2013, Odin Lloyd, a semi-pro football player who was dating the sister of Hernandez's fiance, was found dead in a field near Hernandez's home. Now, the following day, police came out to Hernandez's home to find for clues and everything along with this. And then days later, on June 26, Hernandez was arrested and charged with the murder of Odin Lloyd. Now, the following day, Hernandez became a suspect for a drive-by shooting that happened on July 16, 2012 for Daniel Du Abreu and Safiro Futardo, I hope I say their names correctly, that happened in uh, downtown Boston. Now, the Boston police had no suspects during this drive-by, but Hernandez became a part of this for some reason. Now, two years later, uh, we're going to go we're going to go ahead of time again on May 14th Oh, sorry, May 15, 2014, Hernandez was charged for the murders of Abru and Hurtado. Now, on January 9, 2015, Hernandez's trial for the shooting of Odell, I mean, Odin Lloyd started. And Hernandez was actually found guilty for that on April 15th. He was sentenced to life in prison without parole. Uh, now, and, now, on March of first. March 1st of this year, 2017, uh, the the, the murder trial for Abru and Furtado started. Uh, now, on April 14th, Hernandez was found not guilty, but he had to return back to prison because of the whole murder with Odin Lloyd. Now, days later, Hernandez was found hung in his cell on April 19th in the Souza Baranowski Bar Correctional Center in Shirley, Massachusetts. He was 27, and there's something that's not right here because apparently he didn't leave a note, but on his forehead, there was apparently John 3.16. If you guys don't know that quote, it's, For God so loved the word, whoever gave his only begotten son, whoever shall let him should not be perished, but have everlasting life. I always forget what it is, and I do apologize for that. Uh, I do go to church, to so just let you guys know. But uh, yeah, that was actually found on his forehead. And Hernandez leaves behind a four-year-old daughter, uh, Av Aviel, I hope I say her name correctly, and his fiance, Sanaya Jenkins Hernandez, his mom and his older brother. Now, again, like I said, something isn't right here. Like, who, who, like, would do this, you know? And, like, why would he do this and not leave a note or so? You know, it's kind of, I'm feeling like something's not right here, you know, it's, it's, it's just going on, and his manager felt the same way. But I'm just sick. I'm just like thinking, what what is going on here? Now, O.J. Simpson, you know, he used to be he's he was a former football player. He's been in jail for 33 years for the murders of his ex-wife Nicole Brown and Ronald Goldman, and he's you know this hasn't happened to him. You know, he's having like he I, he I don't know. You know, it's kind of weird because. It, it just is, you know, and I don't know what's going on. You know, something isn't clicking on this and everything along the way. Continuing on, you got Bill O'Reilly. If you know Bill O'Reilly, he's an American t uh, television host, political uh, commentator, and he's actually an author. He's hosted, uh, he's hosted political uh, commentary program, The O'Reilly Factor, on Fox News for 21 years, but not anymore. Now, he was actually fired due to sexual harassment due to his fellow uh, female co-workers. This dude said a lot of things, y'all. He's he's done a lot of things, and he's actually said a lot of things on air. Uh, he's actually approached an African-American woman whose desk was near him, and he referred to her as hot chocolate, and he was grunting like a hot bo like a wild boar. No, you don't, no, you don't do that. And he's... He's offered multiple unwanted sexual uh, advances and lewd comments to a woman producer on his show, phoning her 
when it sounded as if he was masturbating and describing as various sexual fantasies. And, you know, he's also said a lot of comments that have screwed along with so many people. He's once said that don't abandon your children, don't get pregnant at 14, don't allow your neighborhoods to get deteriorate into uh, free fire zones. Uh, that's what the African American community should have on their t-shirts. What, what, what the hell, you know, this, and I'm just, I'm just like thinking, dude, you, you really, really are, need to go, but apparently, he's bringing in a lot of money for Fox News, he's brought in like $446 million to them through advertising revenues, but this dude needs to go somewhere else, um, and the CEO of Fox News uh, Rupert Murdoch, he was he sent out a letter to all of his staffers saying, "Hey, we 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 sorry, we you know we're not dealing with this no more. This is this is done. We're done with this. You should have been done with this the first time he started doing this." And you know that's not it that Bill O'Reilly does. He actually has a lot of on air anger that he has. You know it's so weird. You know like check out this video real fast and just tell me what you think. That's tomorrow. And that is it for us today. Okay, I don't know. Uh, it, whatever it is, it's not right on a teleprompter. I don't know what that is. I've never seen that. No, there it is. We are going to do Sting, yeah. Okay, but... Okay. This, now, I can't read it. There's no, there's no words on it. Okay. Honey? Sure. There's yeah. no words there to play us out. What does that mean, to play us out? It's, it's Sting is going to do, it's a video, Sting video. Okay. What is, for credits. I don't know what that means, to play us out. What does that mean? To end the show? Yeah, yeah. All right, go, go. In five, four, three. That's tomorrow, and that is that. Okay. In five, four, three. That's tomorrow, and that is it for us today, and we will leave you with a... Uh, I can't do it. Okay. We'll do it live. Okay. We'll, no. we'll do it live! Fuck it! Do it live! I can, I'll write it, and we'll do it live! Right. Fucking thing sucks! In five, four, three... That's tomorrow, and that is it for us today. I'm Bill O'Reilly. Thanks again for watching. We'll leave you with Sting and a cut off his new album. Take it away. Weird, right? And, you know, I'm kind of happy he's, he's gone. I don't watch his show, but, you know, I'm happy that this is happening to him because karma is always a bitch and you know it's gonna catch up to you so that's what's gonna happen however o'reilly's getting paid tens of millions of dollars for a payout why are you paying this dude just leave him that's the same as like how the blaze is still paying tommy lauren for you know her lewd comments and everything along the way but again i you know i'm happy he's gone you know, I, I, you know, if you do this at work to somebody, I, I don't condone this. You know, I don't, I don't want that happening. And you know, I just got to say, with the whole Hernandez situation, this is really sad. I know people out there are making jokes about this a long way. You know, Netflix has a series called uh, Thirteen Reasons Why, uh, and then people are posting like, oh, you know, Hernandez and everything. It's talking about, oh, welcome to your tape, blah blah blah. No, people don't. Don't do that. Don't do that at all. Because he, you know, he, his daughter lost a father, y'all. Like, his daughter lost a father. So think about that before you go out there and you post some sort of funny thing about Hernandez. Just, just don't do it, okay? And with that being said, you guys, let me know what you think about this. Like, share, comment. Uh, you guys, check out my, my website and everything along the way. But with that being said, you guys have a lovely day and peace out.